Hey everyone, so welcome to Kids Critters. Today I am going to be making some agility um, obstacles course stuff for my hamster because I am planning on teaching him some tricks and one of my subscribers told me that they would like to see this in on one of the questions when they submitted their cage. So thank you for that idea. I did this once with him. I don't know why I stopped doing it. So uh, that was a good idea for me to start doing it again, but I throw my stuff away because it was broken and bad. But today we are going to make some more stuff and you can follow along if you would like to. So the first thing you're going to need is some cardboard and you're going to need to cut it big enough, wide enough for your hamster to go on. And then you're going to need a tulip paper tube and some safe glue. So what you're going to do is put a thin strip right down the middle. Then grab your tulip, tape, tulip paper tube and just stick it on. And once that dries, it'll be like this. And yeah, that's already done. And if you want it to be perfect, you can make it to the same length as your toilet paper tube and paint it and all that fun stuff. But I'm just going to leave it like this. For the next toy, we are going to make a one of those ramp things that go like that and then like that, like that, you know. So the, what you're going to need to do again is get the cardboard, cut a piece, going to need to cut another piece that is the same size okay, and now that you have your two pieces I am going to straighten mine up because I did a terrible cutting job now that we have that I am going to throw this stuff away okay so with your two pieces of cardboard we're going to be putting this like this so just take your glue squirt it on the top of whatever you, your cardboard. Then make sure you need to, when you stick it on, put it somewhere that you are going to be able to let it dry since it would be hard to move. And then you're just going to let it sit there and dry. This is what mine looks like and I just have it propped up against the wall. So the next toy that we're going to make is some hurdles. So the first thing you're going to want to get is your popsicle sticks. You can either use the fat ones or the skinny ones or the little short ones. So those would probably be the best, but I do not have any at the moment. So we're just going to have to work with what I have. So what we are going to do is get some popsicle sticks then you're going to need two of them to go like this and then cut the bottom off of each of them like this and then you're going to put them like this then you're going to need to take another popsicle stick which it can be skinny or fat it doesn't matter and take some glue stick your popsicle stick on and you can make different sizes so they can go under them or over them Okay, so now that you have these, just let them dry, and then we will, once they dry, we will make them out where they can stand up without falling over. Okay, so the next one we are going to be making, you will need cardboard again. You can just cut a little piece off. You can also draw this out if you want to. Then you're just going to want to cut a circle. 
And if there is any videos that you would like to see me make, I will have a Google form in the description and you can put it down there. So then you're just going to want to poke the hole, then cut, and make sure this hole is big enough for whatever species of hamster you have to fit through. So now that you have your circle, you are going to want to get some more cardboard, and I'm just using this piece that I cut off. You're going to want to cut two legs for your circle. Then you're also going to want to cut two smaller pieces of cardboard. So now you are just going to want to stick these on there. And you will definitely need to do this one where you have a place to let it dry and have something to hold it up with. You're going to want to, you can cut your cardboard to fit So then you're going to get your two pieces like that and put some glue on them. Then you're going to want to stick your circle onto them and make sure that the legs are even. Then you're going to want to grab your two pieces of cardboard and Put a little bit of glue right here on both of them. Then you're going to want to take something like a bowl or a box or anything like that that you can easily set there to hold these up in case they do fall. Like that. I have For the next obstacle, you are going to need cardboard and again. So if you don't have cardboard, you're kind of out of luck for all of these. <laughs> if you have a Syrian hamster, it will need to be bigger, but I have a dwarf hamster, so this is going to work fine. So just for all of these, make them suitable sizes for your pet. With your cardboard, you're going to want to Grab some more popsicle sticks and poke some holes in your cardboard. Then you're going to want to get your glue and put some on the stick. So for this one, you are going to need more cardboard. <laughs> Exciting. You are also going to want to you have some more popsicle sticks. So what we are making now is a slide. So you can cut off the edges of your popsicle sticks, which is optional, but it'll help it stay up better. And then you're going to want to get some more popsicle sticks, cut them in half. And if you want to, you can cut that off, the edge off of that, but I don't really care, so <laughs> you can just stick that there, that there, then repeat it. And I will also be trying to teach him how to spin and stand. You will see once we start, because I don't know, because it might be easy for him to just follow the treat. We will see, or it might be challenging for him. I'm not sure. So now, so as a bonus, I'm going to be making a house. 
for in this cage, not for that. While this stuff dries, it can be a bonus tutorial. And I'm thinking we're gonna just have a simple square house, but then have a ladder going up where I can put his water dish or something. Or maybe put his water bottle over it. So the bedding doesn't get to it. Something like that. So if you want to submit your hamster cage, there will be a link in the description. And I only have two submissions at the moment of me voiceovering this. So please submit it out of all of those 90 people who have watched that video. Only two of them have decided to actually do it. So please submit and your you cage. you have a beautiful house. Yay. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is finish our beautiful slide. I'm going to put it like this. And then I'm going to trim right here to make it flat. Then our glue. And then you have a slide. Yay. So now you're going to get your cardboard A again and make it the same length as your a little bit longer than your hurdle. Like this. Then you're going to want to poke two holes. Where the sticks are going to be sticking in. Then you're going to want to put some glue on your feet, not your actual feet, on your feet of your, the bottom of it. Then just stick it into the holes. Like so, and then it should stand up. This is what our jumpy circle looks like so far. And I am going to see if it falls over. Yay! Okay, so since it fall up fall, since it's falling over, I am going to add some cardboard to the back right here. So now it stands up. And then we have this, and I'm just going to leave this one alone because it is just being its awesome self. We have that one back there. It's still drying, still drying, still drying, still drying, still drying, still drying, still drying. I don't think that the paint is still drying. But anyways, thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing and you can also submit your hamster cage in with the link below because i am making a reacting to my subscribers hamster enclosures once i reach 50 subscribers i mean i'm uploading it but at the moment of recording this i only have one submission and you can't really make a video with one submission can you so if you want your hamster cage reviewed please leave your cage in the google doc i mean google form below and i hope everyone has a great day and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next week bye